In this video, we're going to talk about sculpting brushes in Forger. There are several of them, and each one has a different behavior. Each brush has, generally, two different modes and a lot of parameters that can be tweaked. The generic mode is activated when you use the brush. The alternate mode will be run when you press the alternate shortcut. Generally, this mode tends to mean the opposite method. For example, push, pull, inflate, deflate, etc. In this video, we will only talk about the basic parameters that you can find on most brushes. Those parameters are accessible from the tool menu. At the top of the tool menu, you have a preview of the brush. This preview will automatically refresh when you adjust parameters that affect stroke behavior. You can also use this preview to try out your brushes before you use them on the mesh. You can adjust the size and strength of the brushes. You can choose whether you want the pressure to affect brush size and strength. The spacing parameter represents the distance between each dab of a brush stroke. The higher it is, the higher the distance between each dab. The lower, the smaller the distance. You can see the representation of this here in the preview. This is the fall-off curve, which allows modifying how the brush behaves depending on the distance from the center of the mentioned brush. You can also tweak it and see the updated preview to see how it may affect the brush behavior. Now, if we have a look at the stroke parameters, which affect the entire brush stroke, we'll see the stroke type, which allows you to choose between dabbing and line. Dabbing is the fastest mode, creating dots where possible. Whereas line, although a bit slower, will automatically fill in the gaps when needed, creating smoother strokes. Each brush has a sensible default. The second parameter is the smooth stroke, which can only be used when the stroke type is set to line. This allows you to do very smooth strokes and avoids any unwanted jittery behavior. This parameter uses the smooth stroke distance value to decide how many screen pixels should the action be delayed by. Then there is the tip shape section, which affects how the tip of the brush will behave. To look at this, you will need to set a brush tip image, and for that, you will open the stamp picker, found in the sidebar just under the active tool icon. As you can see, there are some stamps already but you can add your custom ones by simply dragging and dropping them from Safari or other apps. Or adding them to a folder named Stamps inside the Forger directory. Remember that all stamps must be square in size, same width and height, or they will be listed as invalid and will not be usable. You will be able to select a brush tip by tapping on it. And you can reset the brush tip image to no image by tapping on the first no image stamp. As you can see, when you set a brush tip, the preview updates will reflect this change. And we are going to increase the spacing so you can clearly see how each parameter affects the brush tip. The tip angle represents the default angle rotation that is applied on top of any other potential rotation, like the stroke rotation. You can also flip the image of the brush in vertical or horizontal by using the Tip Flip U or Tip Flip V. Finally, there is the Tip Orient Stroke, which means that at each sample of the brush stroke, the rotation of the stamp will be set to follow the actual brush stroke. You can see this clearly by looking at the results of the stroke whereas if you disable it. Each sample of the brush stroke will be oriented in the same rotation. In the Shape Dynamics section, you have the position, size, strength, and angle jitters. These jitters add some variation to each brush sample, allowing you to create some nice effects. Please note that these parameters, especially the position jitter, can slow down sculpting, as it can potentially generate up to 20 times the amount of brush samples per stroke. If you like this video and want to see more like it, please let us know by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content like it.